hear those nice lucky tube tunes and uh, we are here with uh, Mr. Skipper Chabalala. Uh, most of you would know him as the lead guitarist in uh, uh, the band of uh, Mr. Lucky Tube and uh, well you're here with us and uh, he's here to, 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 to tell us how he you know tell us his story really about how he got into the band how you know how everything but let, let, let me leave that to to him to to tell us Mr. Skipper Shabalala, how are you, sir? Yes, uh, fine, thanks, you, sir. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, good I'm good. good. It's, it's, it's so good to, to, to meet again, you know. Obviously, we meet wherever we meet, but, you know, this time it's in front of a camera. Yeah. And, you know, people want to know. People are very interested in understanding, you know, how your relationship was with, uh, with my dad and how, you know, how, how things were on tour, at home, and so forth, you know. So perhaps I think the best place for me to start, you know, because all of us know you on the on the key on the keep on, on the keyboard. <laughs> hey, listen, not keyboard. I said guitar. <laughs> yeah. We know, you know, we always see you there dancing on stage, very energetic on stage, but we don't know how you got there. So perhaps you could just highlight for us or tell us how you got into the band or how you actually met uh, Lucky Dube before joining the band. How, how, how did that happen? Where did you guys meet? Uh, yeah, uh, um, I was with my band called Zasha mm. in, the, in the 80s. I think uh, yeah, we, I had a band called Zasha and uh, we, in the 90s when uh, South Africa, it was rough in South Africa, uh, uh, politically, as you know, mm -hmm. um, we happened to be a club band as Zasha okay. because we couldn't go play outside, uh, perform outside in festivals and stuff. So we were, uh, we happened to be a club band, and then um, that's where our tightness as a band uh, was like um, known to most uh, people, including other uh, um, other artists, you know. And then, yeah, and uh, it happened that we were in the same record label mm -hmm. with uh, Mr. Lucky Dube, uh, we, uh, Galo, mm -hmm. we were mm -hmm. in the same record label. So, uh, as a club band, uh, most artists would like to be, would, would like to be backed by us as, a, as, as their backing band, you know, because we were very tight as, yeah. as, yeah. as, a, as a club band. So, uh, it happened that we, could, we, get, we got a call I think it was uh, Mr. Richard Siluma who called us that uh, he would like us because he heard about this Zasha, this famous, famous uh, this Zasha band Zasha doing band things, doing yeah. things in clubs <laughs> and stuff like that. And then he said, "No, man. Uh, when Lucky Dube comes back from overseas and when he's here doing national tours here uh, in, in South Africa, I would like you guys to be his opening act." Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then it happened, yeah, they organized gigs, uh, and then there was some, uh, some um, itinerary that we are, was given to us, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for places that we supposed to, to tour uh, with Mr. Dube, mm -hmm. with, uh, including Cape Town, uh, Cape, Eastern Cape, Northern Cape, uh, most of the places. Uh, um, when the names are still Transvaal, yeah. In those days, you know, you know those days. And then, yeah, and then uh, we, we had some nice tours. It was some kind of a, a new thing to us, you know, because every time we were touring as, as Lasha, it was mostly in, in clubs, you know. Yeah. We'd uh, be assigned maybe to go play in Swaziland performance and stuff. But touring from, uh, community, uh, from um, city to city, and uh, uh, in, mostly in uh, in community halls, you know, those yeah, days yeah. Uh, gigs were in uh, community halls. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we had the uh, the itinerary, and then we had to do maybe a one one month tour, uh, two months tour, de depending on the on the on the on the, the schedule and, 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 and everything. Yeah. The schedule and, and everything. So. Uh, it happened that he he liked Zasha. Mm. Yeah, he liked Zasha, and uh, somehow uh, it happened that he liked the, how I played my guitar. You know, 
mm. and uh, to an extent that there was some time when they they never used to see eye to eye with his uh, then guitar player, one yeah. million the name. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and then um, it happened that they didn't see eye to eye for some reason, and he called me while he was still there, and then he said, Skipper, here's, the, uh, here's my repertoire, I would like you to come and play with the band. I started mm. playing with, with the then band, with the, 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 uh, the, the, the slaves, yeah. who were later called um, Free at Last. Yeah. So he put me in there while they were squabbles with, the, with, the, with, with his uh, guitar player. Yeah. And I felt bad at some point because there was where the guitar player was there. After we opened uh, 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 for, for him, um, as Zasha, I thought I, I would go and rest because the guitar player was, said, no, Skipper, stay on stage. And he didn't use the guitar player. So Jeez. it showed that, uh, it shows actually that uh, it was, uh, we, we had that, uh, yeah. some kind of a connection. Connection, you know? yeah. Yeah. And then so that's how it started. That, you were just opening for him. Yeah, we and were just opening for him. And then, yeah, it happened that uh, in 1994, 94, 95, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think 94, 95, somewhere there. Yeah, I think in 95, tragically, uh, his guitar player passed on. Yes. And he's, uh, so rest in peace, Chooks. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. of my favorite guitar players, and he passed on. Only to find that I was also available because we just parted ways with Zasha. Yeah. And then he called me. Skipper came to come and join my band. I said, okay, I'm fine, I'm free anyway, because uh, we just parted ways with my band. And then, yeah, uh, that's how I joined him. Okay, yeah. okay. No, that's, 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 that's very interesting because, so I, I, I've, I've, I've never personally, perhaps I have when I was much younger, uh, met uh, Mr. Jukes, but, you know, um, this, this is the reality in, in, in bands, you know. Um, bands, they come together, um, music happens, magic happens, and at some point there will be those squabbles, you know. Um, but that's 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 music. That's just how music is, you know. And um, Mr. Lucky Duba's band was um, no different, you know, as we have heard from uh, Ubabu Skipa here. Um, so 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 here you are now. You've joined the band officially now. You are free. There's a space in the band, and you got in there and you set fire. You are doing the things. You are on stage. Tell me choreography. What was happening with the with the choreography? Because you <laughs> and 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 T O were just always in sync with with my dad, and I'm just like, I don't remember seeing these guys at rehearsals rehearsing these things. Yeah, funny enough, you know, it was something instant. You know, if I could, if I, you know, there was no way you could just stand there and watch <laughs> and Mr. Dube perform because he was just he was he was a killer on stage, you know. He was yeah. you know the energy that he had, there was no way you could just stand there and just watch him or just play without actually engaging in the in the choreography. Yeah. So yeah, as you say, we, we never rehearsed anything. If there was a style that I could move I called Tio Tio, you know, we just it just happened, you know, I, I don't know, I can't even explain it. Because, <laughs> okay, T.O. was even more energetic, you know. Yeah. So there were some moves that he had, I could join him. And then we would, we, we would know that, okay, and on this in the, on this song, you remember the move that we... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it, 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 then it just out, continues it, like it that. It continues like that and you, uh, eventually it's, it sticks to you, to, to your head that in yeah. this song, this is the mm -hmm. choreograph. In this song... When it gets here, this is how we, we do it without yeah. even having to, to, to rehearse it, you know. It was yeah. just uh, some spontaneous vibe, you know. No, that was very spontaneous yeah. and very energetic, I might add. I think, yes. like, having been to, 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 to rehearsals um, so many times and, you know, rehearsals, okay, rehearsals are fine, everyone's playing, everyone's doing whatever, but, um, you know, Yes, you'd see the ladies sometimes, they'll do their moves in rehearsals and, and so forth. But I would never see you guys um, actually rehearse those moves. So yes. this is actually news for me <laughs> that, uh, you know, you guys. And, and, and then I think my dad would also join in then on that yes. choreography because exactly, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I've never seen him do this in studio or at, 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 at rehearsals or anything. So that's, uh, no, that's really... Uh, 
yeah. some interesting stuff. Yeah, your dad was very energetic and he was very, um, you know, he could see any, any, any choreography that he would like to, 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 to join in, he would see, he would check the ladies and then check us. And then if he feels, yeah, I have to join the lady. He dances <laughs> with the lady. Yeah, I have to join the guy. He dances with us, you know. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was like, you know, very energetic. Very yeah, and I think it, it just all, all uh, got put together, you know, in a way where if you know his, his song, you know that at this portion, he's going to go dance with the guys. Exactly. At this portion, he's yeah. dancing with the ladies. Mm -hmm. At this portion, he's dancing alone or whatever. Yes, yes. It, I think it just gelled so nicely. Now... Uh, so, 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 so tell me, I mean, you've done many, many tours with my dad. Uh, how, how many years were you, were, you, were, you, were you playing with him? Do you even still uh, remember? I think uh, <laughs> close to 13, 14 years, 14 years. Yeah. More or less, yeah. 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 So we, we, we toured all over the world and uh, I'm so grateful, you know, um, and very thankful and, uh, the, 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 of, of the uh, experience that um, I have, you know, have uh, uh, after I've, I've toured with, with him. I've never, I never thought in my life, I, the people that I met actually, I never thought I would ever meet in my life, you know. Mm -hmm. It was a blessing working with him. Uh, I mean, you're talking about America, you, you, could, you could just hear about America. In your mind, you never thought you, one day you will be there, you know. Mm -hmm. Having to tour the whole world, I mean, starting from, uh, I mean, the, 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 okay, Australia, uh, Europe, most of the countries in Europe, Germany, yeah. I, I can mention most of them in, 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 in Europe, we taught. And then uh, North America, South America, the whole world, you know? Yeah. And how we, how we were received, you know, we felt very special. And that's where you could see the power of, 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 of Mr. Dube. He was so powerful. And they, they actually, the, 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 the influence or rather um, the impact of his mm -hmm. music to, mm -hmm. to some other people uh, that uh, uh, you we were meeting the, the, uh, outside of South Africa, it was amazing. Yeah. Far more than what South Africa would actually receive him. You know, there he was more like a king, he was a king, you know, because there's some other places where when we got there, you know, there's going to be a cut of honor from the airport up until the... Um, up until uh, the hotel, Jeez. some shops would close. You know, some other places you would get to the airport and you see like people like it's like flies. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Covering the whole uh, airport, just yeah. waiting to see Mr. Lucky do it. Was, he was he was huge. Yeah. The impact his music, the, the impact of his his music to 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 to, to the world was must very massive. Yeah. So I'm so grateful to have. Um, worked with uh, such a, a legend and uh, this is the experience that uh, I will forever ch cherish in my yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. And then here you are, you're also in the band now, you're experiencing this yeah. first hand, no one's telling you about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm experience, uh, experiencing this, uh, I'm in the band now and um, as I'm in the band and uh, there, there were some kind of similarities with uh, uh, with me and, 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 and Mr. Dube because uh, discipline wise, you know, and um, his moral, moral values, yeah. he was very disciplined, you know, and uh, somehow we clicked, you know, to an extent that, because I found the band being there, uh, 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 being formed, having been formed been already, formed, was there. Already, the band was already there. But when it came, I, I was the last man to, to, to join the band. Um, but when um, when it was time to select the band leader, yeah. I was selected as a band leader, yeah. and it was like it shocked me somehow <laughs> as to how could it be, you know? Because I'm, I'm I just, just got here. Band. I just got here, and I was supposed to to be introduced to the band, the band leader, yeah. you know? And uh, yeah, there was that connection, you know, to an extent that you know. Every year, we, 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 we could uh, actually revive our, our present as to, okay, uh, he would call the whole band as, and find out if, uh, because sometimes there's going to be commitments or maybe other people are want, wanted to venture into other things, yeah. but he would want to make sure 
that uh, every member of the band is still there, you know, to so that they he can uh, start uh, with his tours. Yeah, he would call us and say, ask each, each one of us as to okay, uh, Tony, are you still here this year? Okay, is it Stan, are you still with us? Mm. And Dilly, are you still with us? You know, he yeah. call each and every one, and then. Uh, do we do we still have skipper as our band? Is there, is there any is there any maybe objective there? Is, did you still uh, is skipper still our our band leader? And he said I he would say okay I say yes. But, <laughs> and then who's, who's gonna say no after he said <laughs> after he said he yes. said okay me I say I vote for skipper. Who's gonna say no? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So there was that kind of. Have a connection, you know, uh, yeah. with them. So I worked with the guys, and I was very happy to have worked with them. The guys were so nice, you know. You know, being a band leader, also remember the challenges that the challenge that we have is that um, you, you, here's this band, maybe a twelve, ten piece band or twelve piece band. You mm -hmm. know, you 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 actually have to make sure that, as, uh, that that everything goes uh, in order, you know. Yeah. If everything is in order, you know, everything goes accordingly, you know, work wise, you know. And, uh, you know, they were so disciplined, that band was so disciplined and stuff. Because the challenge that we have, we have as a band leader is that you're dealing with individuals. And each, each and every one, um, each and every one has got their own character. True, you know true, true. And you have to yeah. sort of manage that. You have that. to manage that and make sure that, you know, yeah. Here's the objective, you know. Our goal is one here. Leave alone, uh, let alone has, uh, how you behave. Let uh, uh, leave out how, how you behave, and, uh, and, and 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 let's focus on I this because this one. this is our, our objective. So uh, we were so um, fortunate to to, to, to have uh, worked with, with with him, and yeah. the band was so massive. Wherever we were, everywhere in the world, they would know that this is the lucky to be band because we were like fire. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, and I think I think also just traveling with him gave you guys um, that opportunity to meet other, say, uh, guitarists overseas, yes, yes, uh, yes, and just you know be able to collaborate, you know, share ideas and and, and, and so forth. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I met I met guys that I never thought I would in my in my life. You know, being on stage, same stage with uh, uh, Burning Spear, being on same stage on the same stage with. Uh, Ziggy Mali, Stephen Mali, those guys, Shaggy, yeah. and um, the Mexi Priest, and then, I mean, Michael Jackson. I remember yeah, yeah, when yeah. we were in Monte Carlo, where Lucky was invited to, to take um, an award, he was awarded yeah. um, an award as the best selling Af uh, uh, African artist in, in yeah. Monte Carlo, in France, yeah. where Jean Claude Van Damme, you know, the. Yeah, yeah what was, yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> was the was an MC, oh. and then Celine Dion was there. You know, um, Diana Ross was there. You know, meeting such people that, you, I mean, you, you you never thought you would ever meet in your life was like you know. These are people we see on our TV. Exactly, it was a working with him with with the uh, it was a blessing. You know, in many mm. ways. Mm. Mm. So tell me, you, I know you've played so many shows um with him all over the world but tell us which show do you think is your favorite show one show that you went to and you're like you know this show has a special place in my heart forever uh, i would say uh the, most show, shows <laughs> were very special <laughs> but there was this one I remember we were, and I will tell you why it was special. Yeah, um, we were there was the festival. Uh, I'm not sure which state is it, but it's 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 a uh, it's a what, what do you call it? Was uh, it in the U.S. In the U.S. In the U.S. What do you call it? Red Rock. At Red Rocks. Yeah. At Red Rocks. Yeah. But I'm not sure of the state. Yeah. But it uh, it was at Red Rocks. Yeah. And like. Uh, the repertoire that we played there, uh, you know, sometimes when when you when, when you when you record new stuff, 
you're still excited about the new stuff and stuff yeah. and then you think yeah this is what is happening you forget sometimes that uh, people are still stuck to that old, to the older to the, to the yeah. stuff that made you you know mm. they don't want to hear much of the new stuff so that's where uh, uh, mr dobe like wanted us to play some new stuff you know what i'm saying mm. and then there was this guy there was a uh, uh, winston rodney uh burning spear mm -hmm. and like when we played we could see the, the crowd was so the crowd was was They're not was, moving yeah it was heavy man you can you, mm. you, you you get that sometimes when you're on stage you can't feel the crowd you yeah know? we couldn't feel the crowd you know and uh, the, because of the repertoire that uh the shows but we played it but you know people want to know to to, to hear what they know yeah they know you for and then uh, we, we, we we played okay he was off then when mr uh opening spec came in came on stage like it was like on fire everything like you know everybody was wow wow he killed it yeah and then we came back to south africa came back to south africa we had to reshuffle now we told him <laughs> no 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 stay away from choosing <laughs> choosing songs now let us work on your program and then uh Funny enough, he, he he actually allowed us yeah. to to actually create create program. a new repertoire now yeah. because we, the songs that we know that uh, that people like he, he wouldn't want to play them because he, you know sometimes they get tired these people the artists yeah. to play one and the same song thing all the time they, yeah. uh, they've they've played songs for many years you know so he wants something new yeah okay you can record something new fine but you know don't Forget, don't forget to add know, a bit of of the old ones so we we had to reshuffle the program and then we went to a festival called i think it's, it's in california called a uh, reggae on the river yeah yeah reggae yeah. on the river yeah yeah that's our uh, that's what that's the show that i will never forget and only to find that uh winston rodney burning spear is on yeah. the same thing <laughs> and he's going to perform after us again yeah after <laughs> us again again you know and then like yeah and then we started with this uh, this new repertoire everybody like you know they, they were lights like th we rocked that race yeah i don't know i, I can't even explain right? yeah. yes everybody lights you know candles and like uh, so the vibe. Light. you know, vibe everybody was like wow lucky lucky it was massive yeah and then <laughs> when we came behind us uh, it's like he was playing teens or something yeah. people were like ah uh, sandwich <laughs> yeah we got you, you like play back <laughs> it was big the time that's very special that's the show yeah. i'll never forget in my yeah life. yeah burning spear <laughs> by the way guys great artist this is in no way obviously trying to undermine him obviously you know um when you when you're performing and you're on the road you know there is that competition on the road you know you have to make sure that when you come on stage you set it up on fire you know so uh, obviously they learned their lesson by not setting the stage fully on fire on the show before mm -hmm. but they made sure that on uh, reggae on the river they made sure in california that they set that stage on fire so hey so mr skipper tell us i mean uh, you've played like you've just described these shows to us you know so we know the energy is very high on those shows but um, just 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 tell us what is what would we say obviously you like all of them i'm sure but give us what songs do you like you know which one which song sticks with you where you like you see this song if i get on stage and i play this song i love the song this is my my jam yeah i would say as you say uh, i love all of them yeah, uh, but I would say uh, ding 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 yeah. ding licky licky bong. I, I see you've got your your guitar, yeah. so he used he used to call it uh, Rasta Kwasa. Yeah, that's yeah. how you call it. But but why do you it? why do you think you like the song? Why 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 do you like the song? Yeah, uh, I think there's there's more engagement of of the guitar. The, yeah, you know um, how it starts. You know with the with, with the, the guitar the the the, the guitar uh, phrase. Yeah, and then um, also there's a lot of uh, 
riffs, the Kwasa lines and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, and as a guitar player, I, I, it, it, it's, it's, it's exciting to play yeah. a song like that, you know. Yeah. And uh, by the way, it, it's nice because I recorded in, in the song. <laughs> And oh, I, so you were in studio I was in studio, studio yeah, 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 yeah. the song, I, I, you know, doing this intro was exciting, you know, and, you know, that's also one thing that uh, Lucky was, um, uh, uh, made me uh, actually... You, Creative you, freedom. Yeah, he, he created that, that space, you know, of you being free in the studio, and it's just, you would say, just try, try something, anything African, you know, that's how this song uh, came about, and uh, and uh, eventually it, it became that uh, Rasta Kwasa kind of uh, vibe, uh, uh, vibe uh, mixing reggae music with, with uh, the Kwasa Kwasa uh, uh, vibe, you know. Yeah, yeah. So if, 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 if you understand, he gave them the freedom really to, you know, embrace their own creativity as well in the songs, you know, which um, usually artists don't like to do that because artists would usually come in with their own now nah, i want it to be like this play this key play this key so it's just refreshing for me to know as well you know that he gave them that uh, bit of freedom to to sort of you know explore their creativity as well but uh, mr skipper has his guitar here so let us see uh, maybe you can give us a chord or two let's hear what you used to play on stage ding ding <laughs> yeah Ah, <laughs> I see you ah. still have it in the fingers. Yeah, there. man, you know, I haven't played it in a long time. Yeah, you but haven't played like, this. Yeah, I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> but still, you know. Yeah. Yeah, still, yeah. Still there. Mm. No, man, that's 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 sounding awesome. I also wanted to learn, but yeah. I got stuck. They said I must grip. <laughs> This Never whole late. thing, but ish, yeah, it's a problem. It's never late. Never late. Never late. Yeah. Okay. No, that's great. So, 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 so. Look, you, you guys have taught so much. You've been together for so long. Um, here comes October two thousand and seven. Bam! You hear the news. Where are you? What are you doing? How are you feeling? Hey, that was a blow. You know, uh, actually, I, I shivered. My body was shivering. I didn't know what, you know, what to say. Because I tell you what, <coughs> because the last time we saw each other was at the airport. Yeah. When we came back from, uh, I think it was an eight week tour in America with um, Abu. Makes a priest and most of uh, those reggae uh, musicians. And then, yeah, we, the last time we parted ways is when it's when we 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 arrived at the airport mm -hmm. at Joslope or or Tambo. Yeah, and then <coughs> you know after a long tour, uh, everyone everyone wants to go home. You know, just to rest, you know, after a long tour and stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah, and uh, there he, 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 uh, he, he went to, he went home in Ngoko, mm. uh, well, in his farm, where he was staying in, in KZN, right? And um, everybody went home. And then, you know, uh, after uh, after two weeks, you know, after we've rested now, yeah. after two weeks, I, I told myself that, you know, I just want to go to downtown studios, you know, just to see the guys and stuff like that. Now I'm rested, uh, I'm rested now, you know, there's no more, no more uh, jet lag now, you know. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. You know, sometimes there's that thing, that fatigue and like the heavy body from the jet lag <laughs> when you, you're outside of South Africa, you know. Yeah, yeah, and I told myself, no, let me go to downtown so I can see the guys and other musicians, you know. And not even knowing that that day, Lucky was in Joburg, yeah. right? 
and then um, I get to downtown studios I got off the lift uh, as I got off the lift on the, on the, on the same floor as uh, Lucky Dubai's office right? as I got out of the lift I met this guy Sipo mm -hmm. who used to play with Lucky mm -hmm. oh no 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 he was a keyboard player for the keys. Yeah, yeah. He used to play the, 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 the keys. And then, and then he, he hugs me. Yes, hey, keeper, when did you come back from one? I said, hey, man, it's been, <coughs> yeah, it's two weeks. it's been two weeks since we came back, you know? And then, yeah. And then, as I was talking to um, to Sipo, and then here's uh, Mr. Tube's office no. door. We were just at the pass, at the pass, as you can see, the passage there. Uh, uh, like uh, Mr. Dubey's uh, office tour, and then Mr. the late uh, <coughs> Mr. Uh, Mandanene, yeah. he popped out of the door, and he saw us talking. He saw me talking to Sipo, and then he just popped out, and then he saw, the, saw us at the passage, and he said, and then he said, Lucky, yes, keep her here, <laughs> you know, and then I realized that Lucky is in, in the, the office. office yeah. I was not aware. That is, is, is here was I thought is is, is still at home. Oh, yeah. And, and then he says jokingly so he said, Aren't you owing him? Aren't you owing him something? And then uh Lucky answered himself, No, Skip, I'm not owing you anything. I, without me having to, to, to you know, only his voice, you yeah. know. And then uh, Mr. Nene was still, still standing here to laughing, you know, talking to to me and then talk, uh, talking to Lucky at the, yeah. at the same time, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah. I think you're a busy man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> hey, okay. He is okay. a very busy man, okay. as you can Not see. Now. We got him in studio. Uh, so it's crazy. <laughs> uh, he has to, 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 to make a, a living, you know. Uh, and uh, his people want him. They want him. Oh man! Everyone so wants him on the guitar. It's all about, <laughs> so about that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. he's standing there in the passage, he back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, yeah. And then Mr. Manza Nene was like, uh, you know, he was excited, jokingly so, you know. And 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 and, and, and I asked, uh, I I talked to to uh, to Mr. Dube while he was inside. Yeah. yeah. No, not even a cent. Aren't you owing me? Not, not even a cent. He said, no, skip, go away. I'm not owing you. You know? And man like, laughed. And then, like, he closed the door and then he went. And then I continued uh, with the conversation with, with Sipo. Yeah. And then we talked, we talked, we talked, we talked. And then, in my mind, I said, should I go and greet him? I said, no, but it's fine. We choked on it. It's fine. Let me just continue yeah. with other things. I never got him. That was the last time I heard his voice. Mm. I think there was that thing that said, "Don't see him; just hear the the, the, vo the voice uh, uh, joking to you, you know, uh, yeah, making yeah. jokes and stuff like that." You know, I never saw him again. At nine o'clock was nine in the evening, around uh, around nine past nine somewhere. There, I got a call from um, uh, Tonic, mm. yeah, the 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 picking singer. And then um, she tells me, have you, have you heard the news? I said, what the, what's the news? He said, Lucky has been shot, he's dead. I said, no, come on, man. I was talking to him this, this afternoon. Come on, don't say that. Yeah, they tried to, to they're trying to, 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 uh, to rob him of his car and stuff like that. And already I was in bed and I, it was difficult even to put my, 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 my your pants my, on. My pants on, you know. Where, Tonic? No, they're by Timber's place. It's a closet and I said, no. I got into the car and got there. Only to find that, okay, other guys were already there and the car was already was, uh, on the t uh, against the tree. Mm. And I said, yeah, that's true. And I, I couldn't, uh, it was, it, that was the most difficult moment of my life, you know. It was hard. It was hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. So you were you were you were you were at home. Yeah. No. Look, I think it was it was a a, a crazy time for all of us. You know. Yeah. Uh, maybe even crazier for some of us that were there. Were there. You know. So, so it, <laughs> that made it 
made it even worse, you know, that uh, something so tragic could happen in front of Mr. Dube's children, just like that. It was like, I mean, hearing the news, it was, I don't know, as I said, I was shivering. You know, sometimes I can't even explain the feeling, you know, how I felt. It was, yeah. it was, it was too much for the mind to handle yeah, it. To handle it, it was yeah. too much, yeah. No, it was it was it was really a, a crazy time. It was really a crazy time, um, but uh, I think I think look, I think um, he's he 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 left us with a lot of messages within his songs. You know, um, till this day, people still listen to his music. They still want to hear his music. You know, so um, I think he he left us with 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 a good legacy. Yes, you know, yes, true. Um, obviously, we prefer him to be here, but uh, it is what it is. You know, but but tell me. You know, just going back to 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 him him joking. How was he on tour? Was he was he always jokeful? How how was he when it's business time? How how was he? Well, it, well, well he was he, he would. Uh, there was time for everything. Yeah. You know, there, there was, uh, he would prioritize. It. Let, let me put it like this: uh, when it's time for work, yeah. it's time for work. When it's time for jokes, it's time for jokes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was a very funny man. When he's fun, when he's when he's funny, he's like a comedian. <laughs> but when he gets serious, he can get serious. Very you serious. You must know that uh, he's serious, and you have to try and uh, not let, uh, not to mess uh, with him. You yeah. He's serious, you know. And uh, yeah, and um, not in a bad way though, because he he was somebody who's very disciplined. No. We wouldn't just be, be uh, um, unreasonably serious or something. Yeah. It, could, it could be for a good cause, though. You know, yeah, yeah. You know sometimes, as I say, we, we're different characters. We, we're individuals. We handle things differently. But uh, he, he, was, um, he was serious when it's time, to, to, uh, when it's time for being uh, to be serious. When it's time for work, it's time for when it's time for jokes, it's time for jokes. Yeah. Yeah. No, so that gives a, pa a balance. I mean, I think everyone has yes, of course, that, yeah. that, that thing, you know, and you, as you were saying that uh, one of the common things that linked you guys together was um, that discipline. Yes. You know, the fact that you guys are both quite disciplined. Eight o'clock is eight o'clock, not five yes, past you eight. Know, you know, uh, you know, you know <laughs> and I arrived late today, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm yeah, the undisciplined <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's always good to know that there was um, that 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 balance, you know. Okay, so fast forward, um, Mr. Lucky Dube passes on. Um, now it's just the band left, and TK obviously, um, and you decide to 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 say, guys, thank you. It's been great. Um, what what's going through your mind at this point? What's 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 what what's your plan? Yeah, um, we worked very nicely with the guys. Yeah, right. Because we we continued a bit, you know, without um, you know, uh, by ourselves. Yeah. But um, it's always gonna be that you know when 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 somebody when somebody was a pillar. Uh, you know, disappears or yeah. for some reason. You know, it's no saying? longer there. Yeah, it's, when it's no longer there, and then yeah, it's not gonna be the same. Let me be realistic. It's not gonna be the same. And then there was no bad vibes in me leaving the the the, the, uh, uh, the band. There was no bad vibes, but yeah. I would say I also so that I, I, as a musician you know also i must venture into other things as well because uh, music is vast true there's, there's so many things that you can also do you know but what was important is that uh, i said okay guys if you need me i'm a call away yeah i also want to try other things true. you know if, but if you need me i'm a call it happens they needed me i, I was there on other gigs yeah. you know though i was not uh, uh, with them fully now because I was also busy also with my my home stuff as well yeah. also working with other musicians as a guitar player yeah. yeah yeah so 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 how has that 
been i mean as 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 we know you know um you you you, you were already playing guitar before you met mr dube yeah. you joined the band and obviously that skill doesn't leave you if anything it has enhanced you yeah. know um so you 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 you're doing your own stuff i saw i saw uh, one of your pictures there online <laughs> uh, captain yeah. Uh, yeah 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 man. <laughs> so tell us about that project uh, with your with your with your stuff that's 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 happening now yeah now i'm busy um uh, because um i'm busy with uh, my album that's gonna be released probably uh towards the end of the um of Chen, okay. 2021. Yeah, I've released the single and the video. The mm -hmm. single is called uh, Anglala. Mm -hmm. You know, the video is out already, mm -hmm. and uh, there's still gonna be more singles that we are gonna release before the actual. Because uh, okay, we we guys we don't believe. I I personally don't believe in uh, in in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in EPs. You know. Yeah. You know, Tina, we are those guys who. Of, of albums, you release yeah. albums, Just you know. Boom. So boom. it happened. Okay, as as Skipper Shab Skipper Shabalala as a brand, there's an, an Afrobeat that I play as a band. Yeah. You know, there's a different uh, style that I play as Skipper Shabalala. So it happened now that uh, there's this popular music now. That's uh, the Ama piano vibe. Yeah. So I was approached by. This. It happened that these guys they are around. They, they stay. In my township, you know, yeah. most of them that, that are famous with the um, piano. Yeah. And then they call, they, they they knew me. Actually, uh, my son uh, uh, connected me. My firstborn, Kosana, connected me to them. So he could see what could come up if we we put them a piano and they and they experienced mind and see yeah. how far it's gonna go. And so far, it went very well. You know what I'm saying? So they gave me they gave me a name now that uh, Das Keeper. And I said, okay. Okay, skip a shawala for the Afrobeat and stuff, yeah. that that adult contemporary uh, music, yeah. and then the skip a for the now popular vibe, dance vibe, featuring mm. DJs. Let me do my own stuff now based on that, <laughs> you know. Because I've, uh, I've 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 been collaborate, I've collaborated with most of these young mama piano guys. Yeah. You know why? Because uh, I don't want that that that, that, that segregation that. Okay, you are uh, it old music or maybe old musicians and young. We have to come uh, together and see what you can put together. Like, for instance, I remember Santana. There was a young guy who was rapping. Mm. The song I don't, I'm not sure of the uh, of the name of the song yet. You know, um, I just forgot the name. That that song is being used by Rihanna now. You know, so the, the, there is magic in putting young blood, young guys, young producers with the, the more experienced. Yeah. The older, older, older guys, and then so, so I'm working on that now. So that Das Keeper album is going to be released uh, uh, towards the end of of Shen. Shen yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 So as you can see, we are actually in uh, in 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 studio here. I pulled him out of his session. Uh, the, the the PCs were on behind me, uh, but I pulled him out just for a quick. Uh, interview you know just so that you guys could get to to know um, a bit more about uh, das keeper here uh, <laughs> and the upcoming music um but 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 it's great you know i think um for me i really respected that um you know you could you could you could say um guys if you need me call me um but in the meantime let me venture into into other things i really respected that that decision you know and for me i think what what was more important was that um there was no bad vibes like you said you know it wasn't uh we, we didn't fight we didn't no. it was just a, a a decision a discussion to say guys you need me call me and me i'll call you i'm working on my yes. stuff now I'm and there, and, and <laughs> yeah i'm working on my stuff and andile will kill me but yeah my stuff <laughs> andile mr Mobezelo, yeah. my stuff i want my stuff <laughs> Okay. But uh, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, look, uh, I'm I'm just glad that you you know you're always ready to 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 answer our calls and yeah. um, no bad blood. But uh, um, yeah, is there anything you'd like to to to, to tell the people out there um, that follow me um, about anything, 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 anything? Yeah. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you for um, 
for having me here. Yeah, I always, I always wanted to 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 take it out there to to to, um, to let the people know how my experience was with uh, uh, Mr. Dube. And thank you for that. And uh, this the experience that um, I had with uh, Mr. Dube. I will always cherish it. Always, I will never forget the time that I have and I had with the, uh, Mr. Dube, and it was a blessing working with him. And may his soul rest in peace. And uh, I hope he's looking upon us. And uh, yeah, I will always respect him. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, TK Dube, and uh, the next time you probably see me with uh, Mr. Skipper here, yeah, he will be on stage, and me, I'll set the stage on fire. <laughs> I want him to feel my presence, <laughs> you know. But uh, we, 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 we really learn a lot from uh, Abu, uh, the likes of Abu Babu Skipper because they've got a wealth of knowledge, um, not in, in, in just one particular genre, but uh, as he mentioned. You know, with the the new sounds that uh, others are experimenting with uh, within the country, and it's it's really important for us to to do that um, cross pollination. Really, you know, bring a bit of uh, youth, bring a bit of uh, you know the more experienced guys. You know, you'd be amazed at um, the music that uh, really comes out from there. But having said that, um, this is uh, Mr. Skipper Shabalala, and I am uh, T K Dube. Uh, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. And uh, you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. From me, TK Dube, peace and love. Salute.